The beginning of the 21st century brought an interesting trend around the globe. One that if your money is overflowing in your bank accounts, just simply buy an island and ensure a lifetime investment of fun for you, your family, and the environment. Coming up, we will tour an astonishing list of the beautiful islands bought by celebrities, and I'm sure there's one we choose you never knew about. But before we dive in, if you're new to our channel, Make sure to hit that red subscribe button and turn on that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future travel videos. Blacador Calle Island Blaze The iconic Titanic star Leonardo DiCaprio purchased the 104-acre Blacador Calle Island off the Belize coast in 2005 for $1.75 million. With unrivaled sunset views, the island is described as the Maldives of Central America, attracting nearly 1.5 million tourists each year. Unfortunately, the island has suffered from overfishing, an eroding coastline and deforestation of its mangrove trees for years. So now, DiCaprio plans to create a luxury eco-resort featuring a hotel with 36 bungalows and 36 estate villas. Expect eco-friendly details such as Carcadian lighting and solar panels. In an interview with New York Times, DiCaprio said, With the onset climate change, there are huge challenges. So we want the structure to not only enhance and improve the environment, but be a model for the future. Little Hills Pond K, Bahamas Johnny Depp also known as Captain Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean, purchased an island in the Bahamas shortly after filming there in 2004. He paid $3.6 million for this 45-acre tropical paradise called Little Halls Pond K. Surrounded by six beaches, two beach Gonzo and Brando are named in honor of his mentors while the remaining four after his family. Gonzo Beach features glass tables with Thompson's face etched in the center. Depp also hosted his wedding reception here, celebrating his marriage to Amber Heard in 2015. I don't think I've ever seen any place so pure and beautiful. You can feel your pulse rate drop about 20 beats. It's instant freedom, says Depp expressing his views on the island to Vanity Fairs, and he's right. The island falls within the oldest park in the Bahamas, meaning it will forever be protected from fishing or other marine harvesting or development. Rooster K, Bahamas Eddie Murphy, an American actor and singer, is fond of purchasing islands. Rooster K was Murphy's second island purchase for a whopping $15 million in 2007. The property is only 5 minutes from NASA and holds 6 hectares of largely undeveloped land. Murphy has family ties to the Bahamas and previously owned another smaller island near Nassau, called Pearl K. Island off the coast of Dubai The former Baywatch star Pamela Anderson was gifted a private island located off the coast of Dubai by her ex-husband Tommy Lee in 2007. Anderson shared her plan stating, I'm building a hotel there. It is environmentally friendly. But in 2013, as per the Gulf News, she scrapped her plans in the midst of the global financial crisis and no progress has been made since then. Mago Island, Fiji Australian actor Mel Gibson bought Mago Island for an estimated $15 million in 2005. With an area of 5,400 acres, it is one of the largest private islands in the South Pacific. About 60 people live on the island in a small village, all work as staff on the upkeep. There is a primary school for their children as well. In the center of the island, much of the forest has been hacked down and cattle rearing takes place paving the way for future farming and fishing projects. You can catch a glimpse of this beautiful paradise in an episode of 30 Rock entitled Operation Righteous Cowboy Lightning Lanai, Hawaii Larry Ellison, founder and chairman of Oracle Corporation, with an estimated wealth of $46 billion, 
purchased 98% of an island in Hawaii for nearly $300 million in 2012. It is the sixth largest island of the Hawaiian region with nearly 90,000 acres of land. A 3,200-person town and two Four Seasons resorts. As per the history, Bill Gates got married on the same island in 1994. South Oxfordshire. For a price of $13 million, George Clooney and his wife, Amal, purchased a private island on the Thomas River. The island isn't very large at 5.5 acres, but it is located just 37 miles west of London with a lovely 10-bedroom Georgian estate on top. The Clooney's remodeled the existing 17th century mansion to include an indoor pool, home cinema, and private boathouse, and of course a nursery for their twins Alexander and Ella. Bondas K Bahamas Shakira, a Colombian singer-songwriter, famous for her song Waka Waka, purchased an island in the north of the Bahamas in 2011 along with Roger Waters, member of Pink Floyd, worth $16 million. The 700-acre island has five white sand beaches, three salt pond lakes, many private coves, art galleries, and luxury hotels. The duo plans to develop it into an eco-friendly resort for millionaires. Island in Angra dos Reis, Brazil In 2008, the Latin pop star Ricky Martin purchased the island in Angra dos Reis in Brazil for his family for $8 million. The presence of 12 cannons, watchtowers, and a large Portuguese colonial-style villa gives the island a fortress-like appearance. The singer has principally used the island as a private holiday location. Musha K. Bahamas The famous American magician, David Copperfield, owns a 100-acre lamb shark shaped island in the Bahamas called Musha K. Worth $50 million, it is the only Copperfield's island that serves as a resort with five plantation-style villas, a movie theater, and a game room. He freely admits that many design elements have been copied from resorts he has visited. According to Forbes, it cost the public $37,000 per night to stay here. Hence, if you have enough money, follow their footsteps and hurry to buy an island because only a few are left unowned now. Which one impressed you the most? Let us know in the comment section below and make sure to hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Also, make sure to check out the videos on your screen because I'm sure you'll enjoy those too. With that, I'll see you in the next video.